Rubidium 84 used to monitor cardiac output has a half-life of 33 days. How many milligrams of a 10 milligram sample of this radioisotope remain after 99 days? What percent remains? These kinds of problems can be solved graphically or non-graphically. First, I'd like to show you a graphical approach. Here we have a coordinate axis, and I'll write 10 milligrams here on the y-axis, and on the x-axis we have days. Hmm. Now, in one half-life, half of the 10 milligrams will have been consumed. So a half-life is 33 days. We're passing through 99 days. So I'm just going to mark that down on my x-axis. Let's just arbitrarily say this is 33. And this here is 66. And this here is 99. 33 days is one half-life, 66 days we've gone through two half-lives, 99 we've gone through three half-lives. So after one half-life, the, the amount that will be remaining will be 5. So we can just plot that out, and it seems to be right about there. If we go through another half-life, according to the definition of half-life, half of the previous amount will be consumed or will remain. So if we're at five and we go through another half-life, we've consumed half of five, which is going to be 2.5. So we're right there. we go through another half-life, we'll be at 99 days, so we'll have passed through three half-lives. Well, another half-life means we have to consume half of the previous value. Well, if we're at 2.5, we consume half of that, so we'll be at 1.25. Yeah. We pretty much answered the question, how much will remain, and that's 1.25. We could complete the graph if we'd like, but it's not entirely necessary. So we've addressed the question, but this just shows you how the sample decomposes over time. Now, what percent remains? Well, after one half-life, we have 50% of the original value. Well, at two half-lives, we're at 25% of the original starting value, or 25% of 10. At three half-lives, we're at Twelve and a half percent, or twelve and a half percent of ten is one point two five. To solve this non graphically, one way to start would be to divide the total amount of time, ninety nine days by the number of days in a half-life. And I'm emphasizing the units here. Thirty-three days per one half-life. I do the math on the units, 
and I see that the half-life units will come up to the numerator. Math on the numbers is 3. So that means I've gone through three half-lives in 99 days. Well, with that information, I could take my starting value, 10 milligrams, and multiply that by three half-lives. You could do it all in one step by simply doing this. One half to the third, which will give you 1.25 milligrams. Or you could do it step by step. 10 times 1 half, which is equal to 5. That's 1 half life. So we're at 50% here. And I take that 5 and multiply that by 1 half. So I'll be at 2.5. And this here is at 25%. I take the 2.5 and multiply that by the third half-life, which will give me the 1.25. And this is 12.5%. Now going back here, I guess I'll just finish this story about, well, yeah, I got 1.25 by multiplying 10 times 1 half raised to the third power. I hope you appreciate that this 3 comes from the number of half-lives. And the half is simply taking the half is because that's the definition of half-life. And this is the starting value. Now to determine the percent, we just do part over whole. In this case, the part that remains over what we started with. So this would be 1.25 divided by 10 times 100 percent, which equals 12 and a half percent. 